Hello folks, we're here today to shoot video of another trailer I got ready here. It's a uh, charcoal and gray in color. It's uh, 22 foot long, 8.5 foot wide, and 7 foot in height. These are custom trailers, not your average trailers you see on eBay or Craigslist or even on YouTube. Most trailers that you see are not available. They're something you have to order. I don't take orders. I build these and I have them readily available to the customers. Uh, I can do a few changes if I have to, but they're fully custom, fully loaded, turnkey, ready to go. So if you have any questions, you can email me with any questions. Uh, I have a lot of people tell me I can buy them cheaper. If you can, please do. You won't find one with the options that this one has at the price I have it. I'll guarantee that. So take note of what the tons of options it's on this trailer. Thank you. We'll do a quick walk around here. As you can see, it's charcoal gray in color. It's got dual 3,500 pound axles, four brakes. Got mag aluminum wheels and they're mounted on radial tires. That's your wastewater dump valve. The waste tank is mounted under the trailer. Electricity, 50 amp. Got a twist plug. On the V nose, you have a Water City fill, meaning you can fill the tank up with gravity or you can hook a hose to it and have city water with pressure. Got a lockable door, has a three foot V nose. Got a 60 inch triple tongue, which is extendable. Also has a receptacle outside on the tongue. Comes with a 10,000 watt 50 amp generator, electric start. Got a 25 foot motor based plug, plugs right into the side of the trailer there. This is pull and electric start. Got the quiet muffler on it. Great option to have. Got the chip guard at the bottom of the V nose. Serving window is a six foot by three foot. Has a seven foot serving counter. Has the awning, lockable flush locks. A double vertical slide window and screens. On the rear of the trailer it has two fold down scissors jacks for stabilization when you're walking in the trailer. Keeps it from bouncing around. Got an eight foot porch on it, and the entrance door is a three foot flush lock. It's a half door. On the back porch is a reverse flow barbecue smoker. Equipped with a stainless steel shelf, which folds down. For during transportation. On the left side of the smoker is a warmer box and the fire box. The fire box is heated with two propane tanks. You can use 20 or 40 pounders. 
smoker box can be used as a warmer after you get your food cooked or you can actually smoke ribs in here the butterfly opening there lets the smoke in and exits out this butterfly and the fire box has two propane burners can be used either way you can either use them as the heat itself or you can use it as a fire starter if you want to just burn wood they're designed to put wood in that iron skillet one chunk of wood will last you four hours you get plenty of smoke you don't over smoke your meat which is great and what I love you got your heat there your smoke there it enters into that area it comes under this baffle here it comes up out of the baffle up over your racks and then the smoke goes up 8 inch stack and the stack is controlled with this rod right here which is pinned down for transportation purposes that's how you control the vent and the stack on the back porch we have a hundred pound propane tank and it's mounted on an aluminum base it has a lockable aluminum ring which is attached to the wall the stainless steel plate. The gas supply lines are three quarter inch black iron pipe. Has a main shutoff valve there. A dual stage 650,000 BTU regulator with a flex line. Goes into your propane tank there. See the floor is all aluminum tread plate aluminum. Has a tire compartment in the floor, which is also has a spare tire in the floor mounted on a radio. Has one outside receptacle out here also. Fluorescent light overhead. 12 volt light for transportation. The boxed area is 14 foot and the entrance door is 36 inch. It also has a flush lock. Inside the trailer equipment has a 24 inch four burner step up hot plate. 24 inch flat griddle, 3 quarter inch steel plate, 35 pound countertop double basket deep fryer. These deep fryers cost a little more than the floor models, but they use 2.5 gallons of oil versus 5 on a floor model. So you save a lot in the oil by using a smaller one. Has all the correct gas lines, vinyl coated, keep from molding. The deep fryer has a quick disconnect. So you can disconnect your deep fryer if you want to remove it when you're cleaning it. Inside the deep fryer it also has a valve there to dump your grease out. This trailer is equipped with a six foot stainless steel hood, has aluminum grease filters which catches the grease. The grease runs down the trough which is removable also. It dumps into the grease cup which is also removable. This hood is equipped with two lights and on the walls stainless steel. 
It's not your average flipped around aluminum metal that you see in most of these trailers. Not the way to go. It's not up to code. And aluminum does melt. Stainless steel doesn't. Also have that stainless steel behind the barbecue smoker on the porch. Here we have variable speed for your fan control. Fan on and off switch. Light on and off switch. Trailers equipped with commercial refrigeration. 23 cubic foot refrigerator. 23 cubic foot freezer. Plenty of space on the inside. Self-closing doors. The doors are lockable. Digital thermostat on off button. Freezer is exactly the same. During transportation, it has ratchet straps that go around the refrigerator and freezer. They tie to the E strap that's mounted into the wall. Goes from there to there, and from there to there. Simple to tie down. Electricity is a 100 amp panel, but of course, it only has 50 amp service. 20 space. I'm using 11 of them. There's still 9 left. I don't like the idea of running all your receptacles on one breaker. These trailers are normally gets equipped with a lot of equipment, so I put them on separate breakers, unlike most builders. And this electrical package just has over 20 boxes in it, receptacle boxes. Several of them here in the V-nose. There's also extra space here in the V-nose for shelving. Hands-free paper towel dispenser. Soap dispenser. And you have a switch for your hot water. Switch for your water pump when you have gravity fill in your tanks. And in the V-nose is Aluminum countertop, triple sinks, separate hand sink, the tubs in these sinks are 10 by 14 by 10, they're deep, not your average cheap shallow stainless steel sinks that you see that should be in a home, not a commercial setting. Underneath the sinks is the hot water tank, electric six gallon. Have an on demand water pump, plex plumbing, places to drain the tanks, overflow on the tanks. There's your fresh water tank. 32 gallon on the fresh water, 42 gallon on the waste. Serving window has its own counter on the inside also, which is removable. Vertical slide, vertical slide screens. Plenty of receptacles on the wall. There's a space here that's left out. It's 32 inches wide for prep table, refrigeration, or whatever else extra equipment you may have. These walls are aluminum. The ceilings are aluminum. And they're both insulated. Here's your wall switches. That's your light switch there for your overhead. That's the light switch for the outside. Outside switch for 12 volt. In that corner is a 
24 inch stainless steel prep table. It has a greasy fire extinguisher, purple K powder. And as you can see, the floors are aluminum, tread plate aluminum also. Which makes this trailer very easy to keep clean. Vinyl does not last, neither does the vinyl on the walls. They're not hard to, they're easy to clean. Uh, this trailer here, you can almost put a hose in here and hose this thing out. It takes a lot of work out of it at the end of the day. Also, it has a 13,500 BTU air conditioner. Exhaust vent there. Has two lights overhead, four footers. I want to thank you all for watching. This trailer is for sale and it is available. If you have any questions, you can email me at mlj963 at gmail.com. Trailer won't last too long. Thank you and have a great day.